there is no road map when it comes to grieving the loss of a child, especially one you've never met. In Eye on Health, Latrice Curry introduces us to a couple who turned their grief into a way to help other parents. Their hearts broken, their dreams shattered following a stillbirth. But they were given the gift of time with their precious baby, something they will always cherish. Um, she's one pound 15 ounces, but she was perfect. It's the moment every parent looks forward to, meeting your new baby. Martin and Jane Wiegand couldn't wait to meet Frances Marie, affectionately called Francie. So we had 36 hours kind of uninterrupted with Francie. Following a stillbirth, they were given the gift of time, thanks to the cuddle cot, which was featured in this episode of New Amsterdam here on NBC. This is called a cuddle cot. It's a special bassinet that keeps stillborn babies cool so they can stay with their parents a little longer, even after they're gone. Yeah, we're doing all the things um, that, um, you know, normal uh, births go through, introducing her to our parents. It was our parents' like first grandchild. Um, you know, we're taking all sorts of pictures. Even diaper duty brought them unspeakable joy. You know, just doing silly things like even changing our diaper. Not much in the mood to celebrate her 30th birthday this year. The Middle Tennessee mom delivered a special gift to Erlanger East in honor of her precious Francie. For my birthday, I thought it would be great to raise money for her cuddle cot because I know that there is kind of like they're not deemed necessary for your physical health. So oftentimes they're donated by families who've experienced stillbirth or infant loss. There are approximately 24,000 stillbirths each year in the United States. And a lot of grieving parents never get that extra time. You know, having that time, it, it's invaluable. And, um, you know, we were lucky Francie was in a good condition, but I don't think it would have mattered. Her Francie was perfect. Her nose and her face, she had really good nails, um, <laughs> which I'm proud of. While grieving such a loss is deeply personal, and this may not be for everyone, Wigan has this advice. My advice is to, um, you know, hold your baby and love on your baby.